We welcome you back to Koskinen Stadium. Second round of the NCAA tournament is going to penalty kicks. It will be St. John's who will shoot first. We'll have five penalty kicks each after five. If it's still tied, we'll keep going up to 10. Could go on forever. But it's St. John's who will kick first. Jessica Garziano, one goal this season, a second team all Big East selection. Going against Morgan McCausland. We've had one penalty kick goal in this game already. It was Frazier who had the penalty kick goal for Samford to get us to the overtime and now to the penalty kicks. Garziano, and it's one and nothing. St. John's, they convert in their top half of the frame. Now we go to the bottom half of this first penalty kick. For Samford, Taylor Yunt, seven goals, seven assists, 21 points in the regular season. A first team all SOCON selection. It was also first team all conference a year ago. Had the goal against Auburn in the first round of the NCAA tournament. No goal here, though. A tremendous save by Lipkins. That's what you need. You just need one, two saves during these penalty kick moments to give your team a chance. Now. Kajan will bat, so to speak, in this top half of this second frame, to borrow a baseball term. She'll be the one to take the kick. Interesting that she is not one of the anchors here. Kajan to give St. John a two-goal advantage and a save! <laughs> McCaslin with a huge save on the far post. And now St. John trying for another save with Lipkins to keep this one goal advantage. She'll be facing Reynolds. Reynolds, three goals this year. The native of Rome, Georgia, a junior, trying to equalize it for Samford, and she misses. Went a little bit high, and now an opportunity again to take a two-goal advantage. Shannon Aviza. Aviza had the second goal of the match for St. John's, a header off of a free kick. It was her first goal of the season. Now Aviza ready. And delivers a goal. So this now becomes a basically a must-score situation here for Samford. Down 2-0 in penalty kicks. Bulldogs trying to stay in it. Here it comes. And another save. Libkins is three for three on saves. And this could be the one. McCausland being asked to come up big again. Michelle Money, fitting last name for this situation, isn't it? Trying to be Money. The heart and soul does the dirty work for this St. John's team, playing a defensive center back, a position she's never played before playing this year with a broken kneecap after a broken toe last year. Money is pure, and it's St. John's who moves on to the third round. In penalty kicks, St. John's to the third round with a 3-0 penalty kick win. <laughs> 